Ladies and gents, folks of YouTube, welcome back. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Today's an exciting day. Damon's already got a head start on her. Got the old sporty Sportster up on the lift here. This is the 94 that we bought like a week ago. Um, we're going to make this thing a heck of a lot cooler on a budget. So, yeah, that's going to be a challenge. But let me show you what we're going to do here. Well, attempt to do. All right, so Damon's taking the exhaust off. We're going to take off a bunch of parts off this thing, which is a must when you start working on any Harley. The more parts you take off, the cooler the bike looks. <laughs> but this one, I hate that silver engine. I think that looks horrible. And if you look, we got some major corrosion issues going on there. Um, it's a 94, you know. It's uh, She did well for her age, but we're going to... We're going to have to give her a facelift. I think silver engines are kind of ugly, especially in Harleys. Um, if you notice, my personal Harley, black engine all day. Most of the custom bikes that I do, always black engine. So we're going to attempt to paint this engine in the frame. Now, this is something I've never done before. I've never tried to paint a motor without taking it out. So... Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Another thing that I want to do is the wheels. These are aluminum wheels, and they look really good if you clean up this lip right here, and then this lip here and polish it out, and then we will black out the, uh, the centers, give it a nice contrast. I haven't decided on polishing or painting, but I'm leaning towards painting the front end black as well. I'm thinking black and chrome will be the theme for this guy and maybe try to find some cool graphics or something for the tank but first things third we're gonna we're gonna try to paint that engine in the frame so we got the uh the old sporty sportster kind of stripped down here a little bit and i did something i don't like doing so it works but it sucks because it makes your garage stink but i let it soak overnight in uh, engine degreaser it makes a huge difference but Gosh, I hate the smell of my garage when I do that. So yeah, we are going to, uh, I need to plug a couple more holes off here, but I'm going to plug these guys off, get the exhaust plugged off, and uh, hit it with the power washer, and then we'll go back over it with engine degreaser and a brush. So yeah, she's getting a little uh, degreaser, comet, soak bath dealio because well it's a 94 and the underneath was showing her age it's crazy how original this bike is it still has charcoal canister all that good stuff and i'm not gonna mess with anything because it's not broken so just leave it alone so back up on the lift after a bunch of power washing we got her nice and clean and all that and man it's just a shame that there's just so much corrosion on this motorcycle um, but reluctantly, we're going to paint her. And when I say reluctantly, I just mean, man, it's a lot of work. My goodness gracious, that's a lot of tape. But, uh, yeah, got a lot of taping done. I'm going to put a cover over the back and then, uh, some stuff over the front as well. But had to take a break because it's a lot of freaking tape. I think it's gonna look good though. I think it's gonna look all right. Definitely better than lame old stock. All right, so the paint that we're gonna use is uh, this Rutland, rutland.com. This was 12 bucks a can. The uh, auto parts store said it was the good stuff. So hopefully it is. So in the interest of time, I busted out the, uh, the Eastwood infrared powder coating light just to uh, speed things up a little bit. We'll get the, the first coat baked on there, and then that way we can move along. I don't want to make too much of a prog project out of this thing. Remember, this is the budget Sportster build. So yeah, we're just uh, making it look decent. The old 94 giving her a little facelift. 
Well, so far the engine looks killer. So let's uh, get the tape off of it and all that good stuff and move on to phase two, which is going to be the wheels. And that's going to be a pain in the butt, but it'll be worth it. Well, I guess it doesn't look like a ton of tape, but it felt like it putting it all on. But I think the engine is uh, better in black. All right, so here's the dealio. I've been experimenting. So what I would like to do is polish the, uh, the outside lip and then just these little spaces there. So I tried different uh, abrasive wheels. I tried the Dremel. And the best thing that I think works is the drill with some sandpaper. It seems to work the fastest. These wheels are, you know, they're original from 94, so they got a little bit of crud on them. I've cleaned up most of the spaces on this side, but you can see this side is pretty dirty. They're going to look a lot better black. A lot better. These bolts, they lock tight them in, and they are a real pain to get out. So a little bit of heat goes a long way. Got our uh, handy dandy k &L quad bead breaker here. So the wheel is out here drying and it looks awesome. I cannot wait to take the tape off. But the back wheel, the back wheel has given me a ton of problems. This tire is 16 years old, I think, something like that. Um, I ended up just cutting it off because it is as hard as a rock and the darn thing just would not come off and I didn't want to damage the wheel. So the easiest thing to do was cut her off. All right, guys, we are a couple days deep into this video. I got the hovering Sportster over there. I've been working on a bunch of polishing on the wheels. The wheels are taking forever, but the front one is done. It's cleared, it's dried, it's cured. So let's uh, crack that one open. Meanwhile, the back one is drying and tomorrow, bright and early, I'm supposed to go get tires. So got to get this done. All right, so here is the front wheel, and let's take a look and see how it looks with uh, everything removed here. Oh yeah, that is gonna look awesome. Check that out. Let me get the rest of this tape off here. guys it was another long night in the shop but i got the wheels finished so we're gonna take them over to our buddy doug's shop and have tires put on today but first let me show you how they turned out just look on to them i think that they look freaking great couldn't be happier could not be happier with the way that those bad boys turned out stoked on that all right, guys, we are back at our friend Doug's shop, Santa Clara Cycle Accessories, and he is hooking us up with some tires for the Sporty Sportster on the homey hookup deal, which I always love. But uh, yeah, while we're here, as usual, let's check out his uh, what he's got in inventory. So he's got bitchin' 1977 Kawasaki KE100. Look at this bike. This thing is super clean. 2,600 bucks is uh, what the guy's asking. Man, super killer little bike, cheap little 450, green sticker, big deal in California. I know, the rest of the country doesn't give a crap about green sticker, red sticker. Ooh, sale pending, darn it. 650L, these are killer uh, little fun bikes to cruise around town. Oh, another sale pending. Man, they must be selling a lot of bikes over here. Ooh, Royal Enfield, don't see these every day. 2014. That's kind of cool. Oh, little Yamaturki. NC750. 
What an ugly motorcycle. Oh, did I say that out loud? Yes. Yes, I did. I just, I don't know. I just don't like them. I think they look like a duck or a bug or something. Something. But he's got good stuff inside. Let's see the good stuff. So the good stuff is always kept inside. Oh, 07 Heritage. Big old wheel on there. Oh, matching back. Oh. Corbin action. Interesting, interesting. Jixer. Oh, yeah. The Gucci. The Gucci racer. How cool of a bike. 6,000 bucks. Man, motorcycles are just too cheap, I tell you. The 82900F. This bike's super clean. I'm so surprised it's uh, it's still sitting here. That's a hell of a deal. But I noticed he got a new Beamer in over here, and this thing's pretty tricked out. Little F700 GS. It's got the bags, top case, all that good stuff. You know, this bike brand new because I used to sell these things. With all this stuff on here, 15, probably 15 grand with all the little doodads, the farkles as we called them. You can really spend a lot of money in farkles. Oh, and it's got good tires on it too. We love those. So I would have got a little interview with Doug today, but as you can see, it's Sunday and he's selling bikes. So yeah, if you're Doug's wife watching this, he does work. See, I seen him. It's proven, we got it on video. All right back home and oh my goodness the tires and wheels look awesome super stoked on that but uh got a lot more work to do so last but not certainly least is the front end we need to black this stuff out and uh yeah so i'm gonna get going on pulling this apart the headlight all that good stuff and we'll get her torn apart all right guys, so obviously this is a multi-day project, but the budget Sportster is really taking shape. Damon is uh, bolting on the front end. Got all that wrapped up yesterday. I'm uh, sick of painting, but we got, we got everything painted, so check her out. So piece by piece, she's coming back together. And this front end looks way better in black. I can't wait to get the wheels on it and we're gonna just keep chipping away and before you know it, we'll be done. All right guys, so I am really trying to wrap this Sportster up. It's been a few day project, we'll put it that way, but super stoked with how it's looking. Oh my goodness. Just look onto it. That thing is looking really killer. I've been working on the uh, the fairing mount, um, and Damon is on his way over. He uh, was working on a couple of the pieces. We had to do a little reinforcement on the old eBay Sportster Dyna FXR $28 fairing. I'm not going to complain, though, because for $28, bucks, this fairing is kick-ass. Check this thing out. $28. And it came with uh, a mount. The problem is the mount is super flimsy. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So yeah, super flimsy on the old mount ski. Um, the headlight hangs from the mount and I had to drill a hole so we could uh, get the old speedo mount correct and all that good stuff. But made a couple brackets and we're going to reinforce this thing just so it's not uh, crazy rattling and then I just felt like the eventually the headlight would be pointing at the ground. Um, so yeah, one of the really cool things I got in the decals and I spent uh, about an hour, you know, lining all that crap up and putting it on. Looks killer. The wheels with the black engine and the chrome, I am just freaking loving it. I blacked out the, uh, the front end as well. That was uh, a bit of work, but all boring stuff, so I didn't take a lot of video because it's just, you know, sanding and painting. Um, oh, another cool thing I did uh, yesterday was, if you guys remember the horn, which he had this guy mounted right here, and I didn't like the way that that looks, so I went uh, 
digging through the old parts bin and we found this guy that was on a big twin. I made some modifications to the mount. I had to cut it and adjust it and whatnot, but gives it that old school look. All right, guys, so I was talking about the uh, how we're mounting this up. So Damon made little, little spacers here. Because the spacers that go here are normally pretty tall, but he made nice flush ones because these are the, uh, the little bracket mount supports that uh, we made up. And that's going to go there like that and hold everything from just bouncing and having the light pointing at the ground. So hopefully it works. <laughs> All right, boys and girls, check it out. Damon's uh, engineering idea seems like it is going to work perfect. This is nice and stiff now. Headlight is not moving. Before we had just tons of up and down movement with it. But if you look, this is insanely thin steel. You know, I don't know what kind of what kind of day and age. When you spend $28 on eBay on a whole fairing and mount, and man, they just, they send you this little stuff. <laughs> I don't know, what do you want for 28 bucks? But uh, we're gonna- And free shipping. And free shipping, yeah. <laughs> um, so we're gonna throw the fairing on here and uh, we'll see what she looks like, but I'm pretty stoked on the mount. The mount looks solid. All right, guys, would you just look at that beautiful fairing on there? Oh my goodness. So yeah, we're uh, trying to wrap her up now. We're gonna change the oil and uh, put it on the ground and see how she looks. The sporties are really easy to change the oil on. Actually, all Harleys are. Oil filters right there and you fill the primary right there, but both the primary and the oil, uh, chingaderas, there's a hose to drain the oil because this is one of those wet, wet sump dealios. And then uh, just a plug for the primary, I do believe. All right, guys, I know with the uh, magic of YouTube, this only took like probably 15 minutes or so. But in all reality, building the Sportster out took me about a week or so, and a couple days we didn't have power. That definitely didn't help things. But got the bike done, and I'm really excited to show you guys the finished product. All right, so uh, let's talk about what we did to this bad boy. And I guess we can start at the front. Um, the wheels polished out the outsides and the uh, little spokes there, painted them. I took the whole front end off and we painted that. Um, I didn't videotape a lot of that, I don't think, because, well, it's boring. Um, but yeah, that was pretty straightforward. Little fairing, super awesome look. Love the way it changed the look of the bike. And it was cheap. It was like 28 bucks, something like that, on uh, online, including shipping. But we had to do a fair bit to get it to mount correctly. Um, well, just without flopping around. And then if you remember, I also drilled a hole back there just so the tack cable could run through. But it looks super clean. And before, you know, that tack cable coming out of there, it kind of looked like a rat tail. Um, so, yeah. Another little thing, the mirrors, got those on. They just clean it up. The uh, The mirrors that were on it were original, a little corroded. The big deal and what took the most time, and not the most money, but the most time was the engine. This was my first time painting an engine in the frame of a motorcycle. So I didn't know, you know how it was gonna go, but uh, this engine, you know, everything solid with it. It just had some surface corrosion and I cleaned most of that up the best that I could. Um, and just degreaser, degrease, uh, you know, power wash, degrease, power wash. And there we go, just a little speck on there. But I think that it came out killer. It did take, you know, almost a whole roll of tape, but it was worth it. So coming uh, to the back end here, the only thing I did different with the rear wheel was obviously the pulley. I think it gives it a super cool look, having the outside polished on the pulley as well. Just a little extra, you know what they say, devil's in the details. Um, but overall, the bike came out great. Oh yeah, the horn. 
put the uh, the OG style horn on it just to give it more of a classic look. And then the decals, those things came from I think Sweden or something. I don't know. I got them on eBay and uh, over overseas somewhere, but they fit the tank pretty good, and it gives it a good look. I stuck with the seat that was on it. Um, I do have a couple other Sportster seats, but that one, you know, the thing looks like a little miniature Dyna now. And uh, hopefully somebody that wants a Dyna but maybe just can't afford one will want to buy this one. Because it is going to be for sale. Um, we got a lot going on here. And uh, got to thin out some bikes. All right, guys, this was a super fun project. I had a ton of fun with it. Um, got to do some stuff I've never done before, like paint an engine in the frame. Uh, definitely an experience. And like I said in the beginning of the video, this was a budget build. So if you're curious on how the budget went, I ended up spending about 700 bucks on the whole project. Um, but I could have saved some money. I ended up going with some tires that are a little bit more expensive. I just happen to really like them. I run them on my personal bike, my dyno over there, the FXDX, love that thing. Uh, but those are the tires that I run on my bike for a good reason. I live in the mountains, we have a lot of twisties, uh, so it has a nice soft compound on the side. But if I get on the freeway and head south or north or wherever for hundreds of miles, the center has a nice uh, hard compound and the tires just last longer so for me it's worth it and i thought with this bike because everything else we were kind of going over it we should give it some good tires and that's what we did fully serviced the bike all the fluids all that good stuff new tires like i said i went through the brake system as well um, this thing is dialed and she runs perfect so i guess the only thing really left to do is to ride it um I am gonna sell this bike eventually. We have a ton of stuff going on with the business wise. I can't quite tell you guys yet about it, but super exciting news coming up. And yeah, the old sporty Sportster, she's done. Um, let's take it for a ride too, I gotta do that. guys i hope you enjoyed the ride the sportster runs phenomenal shifts brakes like a brand new bike it's funny that this thing is a 94 it feels like the day it came off the showroom floor so super happy with it and uh hopefully hopefully eventually we'll make somebody else really happy with it as well so yeah as always thanks for tuning in see you on the next one